As humans, we're naturally driven by the search for better. But when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search at all. Don't search. Match. With Indeed, when I was looking to hire someone, it was so slow and overwhelming. I wish I had used Indeed. If you need to hire, you need Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform, with over 350 million global monthly visitors according to Indeed data, and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. Ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging so you can connect with candidates faster. And Indeed doesn't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at Indeed.com slash podcast. That's Indeed.com slash podcast. Terms and conditions apply. Played on a field or ice or course Bear Rivers is the place Over under money line Same game parlays, it's all fine We'll put a smile on your face Bet Rivers Sportsbook is your home for chance Where you can bet on the sports you love Bet Rivers Sportsbook, download the app Take a chance Presented by Rivers Casino Portsmouth Must be 21 plus, available in Virginia only Void were prohibited, terms and conditions apply Gambling problem? Call 1-888-532-3500 Now for our story It was quite late at night. If Aunt Mary had stopped to think about herself, she would have realized that she was very tired. But Mary Lane was too occupied with another person's troubles. The young woman, Lisa Fenner, whom Randy had rescued from the river late that afternoon. As she sat by the girl's bedside, waiting for her to drop off to sleep, Aunt Mary was puzzling over something Lisa had just said. Lisa had mentioned Kit Mead's name, and then, almost in terror, had implored Aunt Mary to forget it. Until this had happened, Lisa Fenner had been simply a person in trouble. Someone to be helped. But now, Aunt Mary was worried. What, she wondered, could be the connection between Kit and Mead, who had caused her own family so many heartaches, and this unhappy young woman. Lisa had fallen asleep then, and Aunt Mary tiptoed quietly from the room and went downstairs where Lefty was waiting for her by the dying fire. Why, Lefty, you still up? Yep, I thought I'd wait. Figured you'd come down when the young woman dropped off. Oh, you shouldn't have, Lefty. You'll be tired in the morning. What about yourself? Oh, I'm all right. I can get along without a lot of sleep. You just think you can. You ought to have more rest than most people, the way you use up your energy. Oh, don't you worry. I'm all right. Is Peggy in bed? Yeah, and so's Randy. But he'd like you to stop in and say good night. He said he was going to read for a while. <laughs> Randy loves to be tucked in. Well, Aunt Mary, what did you find out? Uh, did the girl say what her trouble is? Mm, not exactly. But I'm beginning to understand part of her story. Perhaps you don't feel free to discuss it. Then. No, Lefty. Frankly, I don't. I'm sure she'd want anything she told me to be kept in confidence. Probably would. But there's uh, no secret about her name, is there? Oh, she didn't say not to mention it. Her name's Lisa Fenner. Lisa Fenner. <laughs> Doesn't ring any bells to me. Not to me. I do feel sorry for that young woman. She's had a hard time of it. I wish I could find some way to help her regain confidence in herself. Randy said she talked as if she had no faith in herself at all. It's hard to understand. A dreadful accident like that, that old railing breaking. And the girl said it had been better if Randy hadn't been there. It's such a hard thing to combat when people lose their will to live. Seem to want to give up. Yeah, I know. But I wouldn't worry about it, Aunt Mary. You've helped people out of worse jams than this young woman's in, I'm sure. <laughs> Look at me. I wasn't exactly walking on air when you took me under your wing. Mm. I know you weren't, Lefty, but this is different. Different? How? Oh. Well, there's, there's something I, I don't quite understand. Some connection. I'm almost afraid to know the answer. Something that girl said worries me very much. Well, who can that be? Sort of late for people to be dropping in. Yes, it is. Uh, I'll go see who it is. Good evening, Lefty. Uh, Hello, Bill. Come in. Thanks. I know it's awfully late, but I saw the light on. Aunt Mary's still up. Oh, 
Well, do you think it's all right if I talk to her a minute or two? Ask her. We're in the living room. Why, Bill Mead. Hello, Aunt Mary. I hope you'll forgive my barging in at this hour. Oh, certainly, Bill. Glad to have you. <laughs> I guess we're all night owls this evening. <laughs> well, I was out towards Stanton this afternoon on business. You know that Italian family, the Angelinos? Oh, yes. I, I think Peggy went to high school with one of the daughters. Oh, that must have been Maria. Yes, I, I believe it was. Oh, she's married now. Oh. Well, anyway, they wouldn't let me get away. Fed me spaghetti and red wine. Regaled me with stories of the old country. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd never get away. Oh, and I saw your light was still on. I couldn't resist stopping in. Well, I'm glad you did, Bill. Well, I think I'll turn in. Nobody minds. Well, that's a good idea, Lefty. You've had a tiring day. That's so have you, Aunt Mary. You'd better get to bed pretty soon yourself. Good night. Good night, Lefty. Good night. You know, I'm afraid Lefty doesn't approve of my keeping you up, Aunt Mary. Oh, <laughs> don't mind him, Bill. Lefty's a regular old watchdog where I'm concerned. <laughs> well, it's a good thing he is. I hope everyone doesn't bother you with their troubles the way I do. It seems to me I'm always giving you a tale of woe. But I want to know what's happening to you, Bill. Well, what about the Lane Farm? Anything new out here? Well, I should say there is, Bill. Something wonderful happened day before yesterday. Is that so? Yes. Yeah. My son came back from overseas. Randy? Mm -hmm. Oh, say, Aunt Mary, that is good news. But did you know he was on his way? No. Randy always has loved to surprise people. He just walked in one night with no one. I'll bet you nearly fell well, over. I certainly did. There he was at the door, terribly pleased with himself for taking the family unaware. <laughs> and of course, just like a woman, I was so happy I cried. Well, I don't blame you. <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm glad, Aunt Mary. I know how you've missed him all these years. Peggy used to talk about him a lot. He sounds like a swell guy. Oh, he is, Bill. And he's a fine boy. He's a lot like his father. And, of course, I, I must admit I have been worried. I couldn't help remembering the last war, when Randolph went away. Yeah. Randy was just a little tight then, but somehow he understood. When he knew his daddy wasn't coming home anymore, he decided he'd have to be the man of the family. <laughs> he was a lot of comfort to me, young as he was. Yeah, he must have been. But my goodness, here I am doing all the talking, and I want to know about you. Well, several things have happened. But the main thing is I went to see Angus McKillop again. You did? Mm -hmm. What did Angus have to say? It wasn't too good. He told me something that amazed me, something that had never even occurred to me. What was that? Well, Mr. McKillop said, the way he sees it, I never should have turned down Ben Calvert's offer. What? Angus said that? I know, I was floored too. But that's what he said. Well, I don't understand. Seemed to be the only thing you could do. If Ben put you in the position of having to choose between your child... Giving him up for... Uh, well, I'm afraid I don't quite follow Angus's line of thought. Yeah, I was pretty mixed up on it, too. But after he explained his reasons, I guess I see why. What were his reasons? Well, the way Mr. McKillop explained it, the whole trouble seems to be that... Well, that I have no grounds. No grounds? Well, legal grounds. No basis for asking custody of the child. Or for that matter, no grounds for a divorce, either. Well, that's, that's hard to believe. Yeah, it was for me. When I think of everything that's happened. Some of the things Ben Calvert's done. I know. But the thing is, there's nothing you can put your finger on from a legal standpoint. No concrete evidence. You see, that's the catch. Oh, Bill, I'm very sorry to hear this. I did so hope Angus would be able to help you out. He's such a good lawyer, too. Yeah, that's what David Bowman says. And he says Mr. McKillop's a real fighter, too. A lot of times he's taken cases that looked absolutely hopeless and managed to win them. He has. I can think of a couple of battles he's won myself. <sighs> well, I'm afraid this is one battle he's not even willing to start, let alone finish. Did he refuse point blank? I'm afraid that's about what it amounted to. And he told you definitely it would uh, have been better not to fight for custody of the child? Oh, yes. In fact, he said I was crazy if I attempted it because he doesn't think I'd win a divorce. In other words, he believes you might come out with nothing? Not when you're freedom or your baby? Yeah, that's about it. Oh, that's just too bad. I can't help believing the baby would be better off with you, Bill. Especially since I feel that Kit's so much under her father's influence since she came back to Wakefield. Naturally, that child will be, too, as he grows older. I know, Aunt Mary. I hate to think of it, but... Oh, it's pretty late. I mustn't keep you up any longer. I better say goodnight. 
Bill, uh, before you go, I wonder... Bill, I'd like to ask you a question. Of course, Aunt Mary. What is it? Does the name Lisa Fenner mean anything to you? Anything at all? Lisa Fenner. No, it doesn't, Aunt Mary. I've never heard it before. Why? Mm, I just wondered. I... I had an idea it might provide an answer to something. And I just thought you might have heard someone mention it. Although Bill had not heard the name, Aunt Mary's premonition was not wrong. She was right in sensing some connection between Lisa Fenner and Bill's estranged wife, Kit Mead. If only she could discover what that connection is before it is too late. Lisa Fenner had reasons for withholding from Aunt Mary or anyone else the truth regarding her baby son, the child everyone believes to be Kit's own. But will Lisa give up her resolution not to speak of it? Hey, have you heard the Virginia Lottery has a new Willy Wonka Golden Ticket Scratcher that has a top prize of $100,000? Tell that to my automated Golden Ticket Scratcher apparatus. You simply put the ticket in here, and the machine scratches it for you. And while we wait, we can play the Willy Wonka Golden Ticket online game with a top prize of $1 million. Just visit VALottery.com or use the lottery app. That's one impressive scratcher apparatus. Use it whenever. What's mine is yours. But hands off the scratcher. That Willy Wonka Golden Ticket is all mine. Lucky Land Casino, asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car, before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.